Hi, I'm Adrian Rivera with Cal TV Entertainment. I'm here at the SF MoMA for the red carpet of the movie Gemini Man. Let's see who we find. How did your previous films um, inspire this film, such as like Life of Pi and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? How did those inspire the direction that went into this film? Well, they're uh, accumulative. accumulative. You learn from a previous movie mm -hmm. and then there's something new you want to try. Yeah. There's a safety zone because you know, and then there's a the new territory uh, that is unknown. It's always just a safe next step for you. The next step That's in this movie That's the scary part. was the full humanoid uh, CGI, well, Smith, the younger version, right? Yeah, that was yeah. the next step. How did you feel taking that next step? Uh, I think what we learn here can apply to uh, enhance a lot of performances, yeah. uh, looks, and not only on human, but uh, everything you see. With it. No, we're in the digital era. Mm -hmm. The touch-ups, the mm -hmm. make-believe. Mm -hmm. uh, as we get into the digital era, especially when you see it with an angle, like yeah. we're alive. Yeah. When you get into the immersive movie making or experience, uh, you just so much want to look real. A yeah. lot of physical pretense wouldn't work. If there was a clone of you, mm -hmm. what do you think he would be up to right now? He would be doing this interview and I'd that, be getting some rest. You'd be getting the rest. <laughs> you'd be definitely getting, you need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you know, it's like that, that whole idea of, of cloning and that, you yeah. know, that is such an in intriguing scientific idea to me. And I, I mean, the first time I saw that, uh, the image of myself, yeah. of the two of me yeah. in, in, in the frame, it, it was really chilling. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited about what the possibilities are for that technology, yeah. just, and for artists, what like what we'll be able to yeah. do and see in the future. How did Jada feel when she saw the younger version of you? Yeah, I told her to keep that to herself. <laughs> she, oh, I, I see. Don't need, I, don't yeah. need, I don't need to hear it. Yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the visual effects of this movie were pretty wild. Um, how do you prepare for something like that? You start, you set a sort of setting expectations of what you think it's going to take, what, what parts you're going to have to get in line. Mm -hmm. You put all those in there, you put everything together, you realize that you're only about 10% of the way there. You just keep repeating the process until eventually you feel like you've got the part. What were some of your inspirations for like the visual effects in this movie? Like, You, you look at a lot of movies to try to figure out what, what it is about them. You know, to, to find sort of you know, artistic inspiration to, to, to challenge you to want to go further. To that regard, I looked at a lot of films that dealt with really beautiful performances in CG, in CG creatures. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Avatar, Planet of the Apes, they did some amazing stuff with. Uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, there's, there's been some fantastic creature, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings films. There's mm -hmm. been some fantastic creature films that yeah. have been done before yeah. that, that managed to capture the spirit of the essence of what the actor gets. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in to today's Red Carpet. I'm Adrian Vera with Cal TV Entertainment, and be sure to catch the movie in theaters October 11th.